16.6b, Rational Equations, Factoring Denominator. To identify all the factors in the LCD, we may have to factor the denominator. So let's take a look at our first example. In our first example, we have a polynomial that looks like it needs to be factored. So if we look here, we're going to get x minus 6, x minus 7. Usually what you see here will show up here, but you also will get other factors, so be careful, don't make any assumptions. Okay, so that means that our LCD for this is going to be x minus 6, x minus 7. I'm going to multiply that through. So we're going to multiply each numerator by the missing factor. So we have x times x minus 7 plus 1 times x minus 6 equal to negative 3x minus 8. So we get x squared minus 7x plus x minus 6 equal to negative 3x minus 8. So now we have x squared minus 6x minus 6 equal to negative 3x minus 8. Let's move our 3x and our 8 over. So we get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. That'll factor out really nice. So we're going to get x minus 2, x minus, whoops, 1, sorry, equal to 0. So x is going to equal 2 and 1. Neither one will cause us to have zero in the denominator, so they're good answers. Let's go look at example two. In example two, our middle term factors out to x minus three, x plus three. So that's going to be our LCD. So we're going to multiply everything by x minus three x plus 3. So we're going to multiply each numerator by the missing factor. So we're going to have 2 times x minus 3 minus 9x. Actually, we don't need to multiply that one times anything. So we'll just have 9x there equal to 1 times x plus 3. So we get 2x minus 6 minus 9x equal to x plus 3. Let's get our like terms together. So we have negative 7x minus 6 equal to x plus 3. We'll subtract x from both sides and we'll add 6 to both sides. And so we're going to get a negative 8x equal to 9, divide by a negative 8. And we get that x is equal to a negative 9 eighths. It will not cause our denominator to equal 0, so we are done.